Patients' health and safety is a top priority at o &E. This video is a reminder on proper cleaning and packaging of our instrument kits. Oftentimes, there are several people scheduled at one location doing post-ops, along with doctors who need instruments as well. Please only take one to two kits at a time and bring your dirty instruments back to the cleaning station before grabbing new kits. Be courteous. Clean your own instruments. We've all seen that pan in the sink overflowing with instruments that need to be cleaned. Your instruments will need to soak in the cleaning solution for two minutes prior to cleaning. There is a timer at each location. To make the cleaning solution, you will use a half a pump of the multi-enzymatic cleaner and fill the rest of the pan with water. Wear gloves when cleaning your instruments. Each instrument needs to be scrubbed thoroughly. Put on new gloves, dry the excess water, and package your instruments in the open position. Tear off the plastic seal and fold at the perforated line. This is an incorrect fold because there is not an airtight seal. We have found a few instruments with material still stuck to them. So now we will be initialing our instrument pouches at the upper right hand corner. If you package the instruments, you must initial your pouch. Please note, the back of the instrument pouches have a circle steam indicator. If the pouch is dirty, the indicator will be pink. After proper sterilization, the indicator turns from pink to brown. Never put a pouch in the clean bucket if the indicator is still pink. This is an easy mistake, but puts our patient's health and safety at risk. You are now ready for the autoclave. Never put instruments in the autoclave and walk away, especially at the end of the day. Someone may walk by or come in in the morning thinking that they're clean and take them out. Check the water level and fill as necessary. The water is located underneath the autoclave. Close the door. Press the pouches button and then start. Once the autoclave is done, you will tear off the receipt and use this information to fill out the clipboard on top of the autoclave. We need to document the date, the receipt number, the maximum temperature, the maximum pressure, the number of minutes the autoclave was at 270 degrees Fahrenheit, and also document that the circle steam indicator is brown. All of our records need to be accurate and up to date for Board of Health Inspections. Thank you for helping to ensure our patients' health and safety at ONE.